Hello everyone, it is your one and only gaming weasel with a core prime build video. I didn't make a core prime build video because I was trying to level her up and make her the best Cora that she can possibly be. Now I think I did a pretty goddamn good job and of course I'm gonna show you guys what I made and how my build looks like. Of course, uh, to each their own, everyone can make builds however they want to and mod their Warframes however they want to. I just think that this is a pretty decent guide on what to, uh, to aim towards when you're making yourself a core prime. And now, of course, a like and a subscribe would be greatly, greatly appreciated by the Gaming Weasel channel and, of course, by me because I am the Gaming Weasel. And to have more weasels around the world, it would be pretty amazing to see more of you guys just, you know, joining the, the Weasel squad, even that... That sounds so cringe, but I'm, I'm gonna go and roll with it. But the first build on the screen, oh my god, it popped up so fast. Uh, steel Charge for the Aura. We have Cunning Drift, Stretch, and of course Overx for that extra juicy range. We have Prime Flow and Streamline because this uh, is going to drain a lot of your energy. We have Prime Continuity for that extra duration and Umbro Vitality for that extra survivability. I do use Arcane Fury and Molt Augmented on her, but you can basically put any uh, Arcane that you want. Personally, I'm not that big into Arcanes, but you know, teach their own, you can basically put, uh, I did see some people use Guardian and uh, Grace, so you can do that as well. And of course, the two main mods, Accumulating Whip Claw and Pilfering Shungle Dome, Pilfering Shungle Dome, of course, for that extra 65% loot drop for our farming queen. Uh, also, with this build, it would be very good if you had a melee weapon with a great Riven mod on it uh, to increase, of course, the damage of Whipclaw because your power strength is 40%. Uh, it does scale a little bit off of power strength, but it mostly scales off your melee weapon's damage, uh, and that is counted towards your total damage. I'm using the Dual Series. It's on the screen right now. I would it's basically, I'm using this just because of the duration on it of the combo counter because of course keeping that combo counter at 12x is going to make the damage go really really high and make those red crits very very juicy. So, second build, for us normies that don't love to keep our combo counter up, uh, we have Corrosive Projection, Cunning Drift, uh, of course, uh, and basically the build is almost totally the same, except Corrosive Projection, as I said, and Nearest Hatred. Now, uh, I put Nearest Hatred because it increases my health just that tiny little bit, and it also increases my duration by, I think, 24%. Uh, and my Arcane, I put a new one, Arcane Blade Chargers, just because I can get a melee kill and then increase my rifle's damage by 300%. Now, this build is basically going to work like this. You're going to set up your Shangle Domes, uh, which are going to last a pretty long time and they're not going to drain that, that much energy because you're basically just casting Shangle Dome. And basically uh, get yourself an AoE weapon, for example, Tenon Envoy, Kuva Brahma, Kuva Zar. Uh, preferably, if you possibly can, get yourself a Prime Firestorm or Ordinary Firestorm on your weapon and just basically kill the enemies inside of the Shangle Dome because, of course, the enemies need to be captured by the Shangle Dome to get the Pilfering Shangle Dome augment to work and get yourself 65% extra loot. So, basically, that is it. I used the Titan and Tenvoy, by the way, uh, on screen right now, as you can see, the little build. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I try to make this quick and snappy and easy for you guys to follow. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Gaming Weasel, and I will see you guys on my next video. Over and out.